Well, welcome to beautiful downtown Atlanta, GA. We're in the dirty south for some dirt bike racing. It's Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Welcome to SupercrossOnline.com. Jason Wygant, Jim Holly here. Our first real swing through the east. We did have one east coast round by the schedule. They said Houston was an east coast round, but Jim, this is the return of the real east coast dirt. Big changes for the riders compared to racing out west. Yeah, and you mentioned that the, the key is the dirt. I mean, you know, anytime you come to a back east uh, race this time of year, the, the soil is going to be real ruddy. It's going to be real tricky for a lot of the guys here to uh, get around the Georgia Dome. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys like it. Millsaps came away with his first uh, Supercross win here last year. He's starting to put in some good rides. You know, that last Anaheim, he had a podium. He had a fifth last weekend in San Diego. Uh, but uh, what can you say? The number seven, he's going after seven wins here in Atlanta. We'll see if he can make it seven in a row, James Stewart. And we'll see if Chad Reed can rebound and, and come away with his first win of the 09 season. It'll be interesting. But like I said, that dirt's going to be tough. It's going to be ruddy out there tonight. He, even though it's nice out here, you know, it's beautiful outside. But inside, you know, the weather, it's uh, it's been bad back here. They've had a lot of rain, a lot of snow, things like that. So anytime they bring into that dirt into the dome, it does not have a chance to dry out. So, you know, look for, I'd say, 15 uh, ruts on approach to a triple <laughs> jump. You know, that's something to deal with. But it'll be exciting for sure. And of course, we also have round two of our East Region Lights Championship Tour. So we got one race in a couple of weeks ago in Houston. Riders had time off to prepare, kind of an odd situation. What do you think runs through a guy's mind when they have three weeks off after racing just one race? Well, if you're uh, Christophe Porcel, you head back to France to get your visa taken <laughs> care of, first of all. Uh, if you're Medcalf, you know you put in a good ride at second. Izzy, you know you put in a good ride for third, and Austin Stroop for fourth. But uh, a lot of time off to think about things, make a little bit of uh, some changes, and, and know what who the competition's going to be when you come to Atlanta. They, these guys had a, a lot of time to prepare for the second round here in Atlanta on the East Coast. And, uh, you know, I, I look also uh, for some good racing there. I, I look for Austin Stroop. Uh, you know, we hadn't seen him ride in a long time. And he looked a little rusty. He did have some fast lap times, but uh, made a few mistakes. Uh, a little bit too aggressive, I thought, for that first round. If he would have been a little bit more patient, maybe uh, you know he would have got up on that box. And Izzy rode a little tight, but uh, you know I, I think all those guys that we mentioned, those are going to be the, the top four or five that are going after that championship. All right, so we're about to buckle up and get in the driver's seat for this uh, Lights East Series. They're going to head from here to Indianapolis and down to Florida and whatnot. That should be good. And don't forget, James Stewart Chad Reed tied in the points right now, so it is as close as close can possibly be in the Supercross class. Should be a great weekend of racing. We're live on Speed tonight. We're live on the webcast. He's Jim. I'm Jason. Stay tuned with us all afternoon.